All right, let's talk really quickly here about logarithmic differentiation. So I want to figure out what y prime is for this function. y equals this really ugly rational x e to the x squared over rad x plus 1. I mean, this is horrible, right? So what are we going to have to do? Well, if we don't use logarithmic differentiation, if we just go at this straight up like we're used to, well, we've got a power raised to a power, so we've got the power rule within the power rule, and then that's on a term that's being multiplied by another term, so we have the product rule, and then that entire thing that we just talked about is being divided by something else, so we have the quotient rule, and then on the bottom we have a radical, which we're going to have to turn into an exponent, which then we're going to have to use the power rule for, so this is just a pain. The amount of work that's involved in taking the derivative of this, uh, using the rules we know is going to be horrible, so let's take log. Let's go ahead and take log of both sides, so what will that look like? Well, on the left we're just going to have LNY and then equals, well, this is a difference. I'm sorry, this is <laughs> not a difference. This is a quotient, so taking log turns it into a difference. On the top, this is a product, so taking log will turn that into a sum. So we'll just have ln of x plus ln of uh, e to the x squared minus, because that's what we do with our... Uh, uh, denominator, we're going to subtract the denominator, minus ln of x plus 1 to the 1 half. Now, why was I able to do that? Well, x plus 1 rad is the same thing as x plus 1 to the 1 half. It's the exact same thing, so I'm just making it easier on us by putting a power there instead of, a, uh, instead of leaving that radical. So, <clears throat> now we have this. Well, What's the next best thing we need to do? Well, let's go ahead and, and, uh, and simplify this a little bit more. Our left is still just going to stay as L and Y. And then we're going to have uh, L and X is not going to change. Plus, well, L and E to the X squared. Well, let's just, why don't we just kill that? Because the L and E doesn't mean anything. We can get rid of it. So we can just say this is now just X squared minus L N of X plus 1 to the 1 half. Well, can't we just using our logarithm rules, pull this one-half down in front. So yeah, we can just pull this power. So we have one-half, uh, sorry, one-half ln x plus 1 make that actually look like an x. Okay, x plus 1. Cool, now what do we need to do? Well, I vote that we go ahead and start taking prime of both sides. So Let's me, let me put some brackets around this. And we can begin to take prime. So prime of each side. LNY, what is prime of LNY? Well, we need to have a little aside here, a little chat, because let's think about it this way. LNX, that's easy. We already know the LNX prime. This is just one of our rules, <coughs> is 1 over x. So by that token, should ln y prime not just be 1 over y? Well, yeah, but we're not totally done yet. Because we're not evaluating with respect to x, we're going to have to use the chain rule and pop in another y prime. So it's 1, y, 1 over y times y prime. So this is the derivative of ln y. So we're going to have to use that from here on out. So on the left, we're going to have 1 over y times y prime. equals, <clears throat> well, ln, uh, actually let me, because I know what we're going to need to do next, let me, let me give myself some more room. Uh, 1 over y times y prime equals now let's go ahead and we're taking prime of everything over here. So ln x, well, we just talked about that. That's just going to be 1 over x plus the derivative of x squared. That's just going to be 2x minus 1 half ln x plus 1. Well, let's go ahead and use the chain rule and turn this into minus 1 half 1 over x plus 1 times x plus 1 prime. Well, this x plus 1 prime, this is just stupid. It's just 1, so we know it's going to cancel. We don't, even, uh, we don't worry about it at all. So, all right, uh, now what do we need to do? Well, I vote that we go ahead and multiply 
each side by y. Multiplying each side by y is going to allow us to kill this little y down here in the bottom. We won't have to worry about it anymore, which will be multiplying by 1, so we don't have to worry about that either. So we're just going to have y prime on the left. So let's come over here, and we'll have that y prime is equal to, well, what we just had, 1 over x plus 2x minus 1 half times... 1 over x plus 1 times y. Well, we can't just write y, though, can we? Because we already know what y is, right? So let's not cheat. Let's make this correct. We just said at the beginning that y is equal to x e to the x squared over rad x plus 1. So we can just write x e to the x squared over rad x plus 1 right here. And we're done. We know that's our y. And we know that by that token, this entire thing is our derivative. So we're done. We've we figured this problem out. So what did we have to do? We decided that we didn't want to have to use the product rule and the quotient rule and the power rule and all these things horribly in this giant convoluted thing together. So we decided, hey, let's just take log of both sides, do some magic with the logs, take prime of each side, use a little bit of implicit diff right here, and then... We're really good to go. Multiply each side by y, just do some algebraic stuff, and we get that y prime is equal to 1 over x plus 2x minus 1 half times 1 over x plus 1 times x e to the x squared over rad x plus 1. And that's all there is to this.